Right, what is going on boys? Welcome everybody back to another video, another objective slash kind of SBC type of guide. Now they did release this same or similar objective when we did have the 80 plus upgrades, where essentially the more you complete certain SBCs, you will get rewarded with some packs. As you can see, for completing these, you got like an 8 Premier League player packs, 8 League 1 player packs, 8 La Liga, um, 8 Bundesliga, and 8 Serie A. Now I'd assume they're all going to be rare packs, uh, I don't think I'd be giving us gold common cards as a return if you guys do complete these and open one up obviously I'd recommend waiting for full team of year which is going to be out in three days from now um, but these could definitely be very nice to grind and save for team of the year now to unlock these packs what you have to do is as you can see complete the premium premier league upgrade 25 times and you've got complete the premium premier league upgrade 50 times and that goes to league on 25 times league on 50 times uh, Serie A is 10 times and 25 times EA have smashed it here because they know not much people want to be grinding the Serie A, Serie A upgrade during team of the year because there's literally zero Serie A team of the years or I think there's one and that's Theo Hernandez right so lots of people obviously won't be targeting the Serie A so it's very nice from EA that they understand that therefore they've made that a little bit less uh, the La Liga is 25 and 50 times and the Bundesliga same with Serie A is not going to have much people wanting to grind it so essentially you have to complete the Bundesliga and Serie A premium upgrade 25 times and you have to complete for the Liga, League 1 and the Premier League upgrade 50 times premium Premier League upgrade. Now there's also an objective here um, which is for just to complete it a singular time and if you guys do complete these like one time each obviously if you're doing this one you'll be getting these done as well so you just get an 81 plus times 2 a nice little bonus pack I guess. So if you head on over to squad building challenges as you can see we've got the premium Premier League League 1 La Liga Bundesliga and we do have the Serie A. Now now, I've also got the smaller ones where you have to trade 11 gold common players in return for a free player pack. So, I think it's two commons and a rare player. So, we're not doing a smaller one. Make sure you do not make the mistake. It is the premium one. Not the one that says Premier League upgrade, League 1 upgrade. No, it's the premium upgrade of that specific league. Now, we're going to be favoriting all of them. Well, I say we have to favorite all of them, but we have to do all of these. Remember, the Bundesliga and the Serie A, we have to do 25 times. Times, and then in the Liga, Ligue 1 and Prem you have to do 50 times. Now instead of favoriting all of them and clogging up our favorites tab, we're just going to work and chip away at it one by one. So let's say we want to start off with the Premium Premier League. We're going to be pressing triangle or Y if you're on Xbox to add it to our favorites. That way we don't have to scroll over to live and all the way to the end every single time. As you can see now we are in our favorites tab. Now the Premium Premier League upgrade, obviously after you've done this 50 times, you'd go back and then you would favor it different one like the uh, league on upgrade then the league of in bundesliga so on and so forth now the requirements for this it gives you an eight premier league player which is a bit different than last year um it's just less gold commons to recycle from last year last year it was a well, premium 25 k's basically right where it was three rear players nine commons this year they have made it five common players free rears which just means i mean the rear players are the same which is fine it just means you get a little bit less rears it doesn't really affect your odds of packing a team of the year because it's the exact same odds right because it's still free rear players but anyway, we're kind of losing track here. Now, if we head on over to the squad builder for this, it is going to require 11 rare gold players. So what you're going to want to do is simply, and there's no cheap way around this, when we did the 80 plus upgrade SBC, and we were grinding it that way, I said, you know, do bronze pack methods, put them into the bronze upgrade, get your silvers, do that, and you literally could do it for like a 50% discount. Now, with these lads, you cannot do it on a discounted price to start with. And the key word is to start with. We'll touch a little bit more on that shortly in step two. But step number one is simply get 11 rare gold players. Whether they're from your club or whether you have to go out and buy them. As you can see, I've got quite a few in my club. But you may have to go out and buy them for eight, 900 coins a piece. If you are saving lots of packs for team of the year like myself, then you will have lots of, of like you will be getting lots of gold rares, lots of gold common players. The gold common players don't matter so much much of the premiums obviously.
obviously, but you will be getting a lot of rare players if you are saving lots of packs and you will be opening lots of packs. So you can kind of recycle it that way. Otherwise, it will cost you roughly eight to 9,000 coins a run, assuming that every single gold rare player is roughly 850, 900 coins. So you're gonna have to literally just get gold rares, whether it's from your club or whether you're gonna have to spend coins on them. So after you were to submit this, you'd get the eight Premier League player pack, which gives you five gold common players and free gold rare players. Now your job is simple. All you have to do, and this is step two, is open that pack and maybe you pack a team of, yeah, who knows, maybe if, you're, if your luck's a little bit in, you might pack something nice, some fodder. But what you wanna do is you're gonna be getting free rares every single time. And obviously five gold commons. Now with those five gold common players, you can put it towards the lower tier upgrade. You might be going, Davis plays, what's the lower tier upgrade? If you head back on over to live, as you can see, just past the premium upgrades, we have also got a non-premium upgrade, just a regular one that gives you, let's say, a free Premier League player pack. And that free Premier League player is two commons and one rare. And that requires 11 common players. So what you're gonna want to do is put all of your five common players towards Towards this one so every single premium upgrade you can basically get half of this upgrade done which will obviously in return give you another one gold rare and then counting the free rares from your eight premium pack that you get and then plus the rare from this one you're going to be getting four gold rares every single run therefore that can discount it by roughly 35 to 40 percent for the next yeah, premium upgrade you do. So it's basically, you do one, you get the commons and the rare golds, three rare golds, five commons to be exact, and you put those commons into the smaller upgrade, which in return will give you this pack here, uh, the free premium or the free Premier League players pack, which will give you two common and one rare player. And then with that, you'll obviously be keeping all of your rare players and putting them into the premiums. That way, instead of having to buy 11 rare golds or using 11 rare golds, every single run you do it, you'll be refilling your club with free maybe four rear gold players it depends because obviously if you pack a walkout or an 83 plus you're not going to want to put them into the premium upgrade so in other words open packs get players get cards put those cards into more upgrades for a discount there you go much love boys it's been your boy davis and i'll see you guys in the next one